Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It is that time of the pregnancy where I'm having to pack my hospital bag. Most of you might have watched the first packing my hospital bag that I did with Kian. The list is not that much different. Unfortunately, when I had packed my hospital bag the first time, I had predicted that I was staying in the hospital for two days. And unfortunately, I did have a few complications that led me to stay in the hospital for a bit longer. So in this pregnancy, you also know the way that the pregnancy started and all the roller coaster and whatnot. So my obstetrician has advised me to pack my hospital bag for at least four to five days. And my advice for any woman who's packing her hospital bags is to at least predict two to three days and fingers crossed that everything goes well for everybody. I cannot believe that I have less than two weeks, <laughs> less than two weeks ago. But if this baby is anything like Kian, I was overdue by two weeks. So I was 42 weeks pregnant by the time I had Kian. Really hoping that doesn't happen. Actually, I've been advised that they're not going to let me go past my due date because of the complications that I had in the beginning. So it looks like we are 98% sure that we will be having a baby in pretty much less than two weeks, <laughs> which is very exciting. So I'm going to show you guys what I pack in my hospital bag. Most of the stuff that I'm going to be packing in my hospital bag are things that I use for Kian. And as any mom who plans to have more kids, you usually just tuck things away to hand it down to the other baby so irrespective of whether this baby is a boy or a girl i had already made up my mind that he or she is gonna use the hand-me-downs from kian so don't get any ideas uh, when you see what i'm packing in my hospital bag these are all of kian's old stuff so let's get right into it so i'm going to divide the things that i'm packing for myself and for baby into clothing and toiletries so the first item of clothing for baby is the onesies i have eight of these and this should be more than enough next item of clothing is the bodysuit so this is what i'm going to wear underneath the onesies and i've also packed eight of these as well which i think is loads the next thing on baby's list is the hat and i've packed four of these so one for each day roughly so another item on baby's list is the baby blanket. So I've packed two swaddle blankets and one cot blanket. So I have three blankets in total. Another important item on baby's list is the bob cloth. I intend to breastfeed like I did with Kian and babies spit up a lot. So I think I have about 10 muslin cloths for bob cloths. This is more than enough and the last item of clothing for baby is the going home outfit <laughs> this sounds so funny but yeah the going home outfit like when we eventually leave the hospital this was the exact sweater that kian wore to leave the hospital so i just thought it'd be really cute for his sibling to wear it so that's the last item of clothing going for baby we're gonna get right into the toiletries that i'm packing for the baby the first important thing on my list is the nappies of course you do need nappies and i have bought size one size one is two to five kg and interestingly enough the last time i went for my scan about two weeks ago the baby was already measuring three kg you guys remember that Kian eventually weighed 4.5 by the time he was born but because this baby would not be overdue I doubt the baby will be as big as Kian but nonetheless two weeks ago measuring 3 kg meaning that in the next roughly two weeks I'm expecting about a 3.5 kg baby which is still huge so I don't think we're gonna use the size one nappies for very long but in the first few days this will do the next important item is the wipes i have been using water wipes for kian since he was born i've done a lot of research and i've just found that this is the safest in line with baby changing the next two items are going to be a nappy cream and nappy bag these are scented bags 
that you can wrap your used nappies just so that the room doesn't end up stinking and by the way all of the products that i'm mentioning in this video are going to be listed in the link down below so if you're interested in checking out the items that i've mentioned here or you want to have a look at what to pack in your hospital bag or buy a few items that are missing do check the link down below and all of the products will be mentioned i also have a pack of cotton balls some new moms actually use this to wipe their baby's bum i don't what i found helpful with the cotton balls is wiping the around the umbilical cord until it eventually falls out so i'm packing a pack of this as well now considering the fact that i might be staying about four or five days in the hospital i am packing things that would allow me give the baby a wash while in hospital i do have a bath towel and a washcloth this was the exact bath towel that i had packed for kian when he was born so packing it actually just brought back a lot of memories and for the actual wash i'm packing my sheer moisture body wash sheer moisture body lotion a baby massage oil because i found that Kian really did love massages, especially foot massages. So I'm packing one to give the baby a mini caressing massage while I'm in hospital. And the last two items for the baby's toiletries, uh, the baby powder and a hand sanitizer. So that's everything that I'm packing for baby. I had gone through the video of the first time I packed my hospital bag and found that there were a few items I had thrown in my bag that I didn't find necessary this time a few of those things were socks for example i don't think i'll be needing a socks because i'm packing the onesies that actually cover the feet and i don't think i'm gonna need mittens because they don't move so much in the first few days anyway so i'm not worried about the baby scratching themselves also the fact that i'm going to have them in a swaddle blanket I really don't think that I need any mittens. Another thing that I packed were bibs, which I didn't really end up using because I was breastfeeding and I found bibs to be very handy when you're bottle feeding or when the baby start drooling. Those were the few things that I didn't throw in my bag this time. You learn from experience, don't you? Let's go straight into packing my own bag. I'm going to start with my clothing and then move on to my toiletries. The first clothing items going into my bag are my sleepwear or my loungewear. So I have um, one pyjamas and two nightgowns that come with robes. All of these sleepwears are very nursing friendly. So I've chosen sleep clothing that can actually unbutton in the front just so that it's easier to breastfeed the baby. And I'm going with three. I've also chosen about three tops that are nursing friendly as well that I'll be using in the hospital. The last time I didn't pack any extra tops. I just went with my sleepwear. I just found that when David visited and I had to walk around the hospital, it was just a bit awkward walking around in my sleepwear. And I don't know why I didn't really think to tell him to bring me extra clothes. So I've just thrown in about three very casual tops and a sweater, one that opens in the front as well. I do have about two leggings and I have a going home outfit. So one of the nicest tops I'm packing is the one that I'm going to leave the hospital with. It's so funny when I think about this list and the need to pack a special going home outfit for you or the baby, it sounds a bit strange because you're going back home to the same people who have been visiting you in hospital. It's not like you're going home to like some welcome home party. Well, I at least am not going back home to welcome party, but still I feel like psychologically it makes you feel nicer that you dress little bit nicer to get back home with the baby the next thing on my list is the nursing bras so the last time i had packed nursing bras which are normal bras but they open up quite conveniently for you to nurse but this time around i found a treasure which i'm going to link down below so do have a look but these are nursing vests so they're not just bras they extend all the way to your belly that way when you're breastfeeding even if you lift up your top you don't expose your belly and it comes in a very spandexy like material so it actually also holds your belly together because we know that snapback is not real for every woman especially for me my belly is gonna take a while until it goes back down so i definitely i'm gonna benefit from this spandex nursing vests 
another important thing to throw in your bag are the maternity briefs and the maternity pads so i would take two packs of these these are just briefs like knickers but they're disposable i found that personally helpful the first time i had kian because i think it was just easy for me to just use one every day and dispose it because I mean I was in the hospital and it was very very convenient so I'm going to be packing about two of these so I can change twice a day and the pads I'm going to pack loads of this because you might change like as much as you need to you just need to have enough of these the next item going in my bag are relating to my shower time so I have packed one bathrobe I have a towel I have about three face cloths and I have something to hold my hair back when I go in the shower. And speaking of showers, I do have a flip-flop that's water friendly. So when I go in the shower, I'm going to be wearing a pair of these slippers. I also have a pair of comfy slippers for when I am in the room, I come out of the shower. You guys remember that this is the slippers that David got me for one of my Christmas presents. So I'm packing that to the hospital. I also have about three pairs of very very soft comfy socks i wish you could actually feel this this is so soft yeah but i have three pairs of that going in my bag as well so moving on to my toiletries the first important thing will be the maternity pads which i had showed you i showed that earlier because i was showing the maternity briefs but in terms of toiletries that is the first on my list so the next items going in my bag are relating to breastfeeding so I'm packing a pack of my breast pads because it's very common to leak when you're breastfeeding and to prevent all the patches on your actual top. This is very important. I also have my nipple cream. In the beginning of breastfeeding, it's very common to have very cracked sore nipples, especially when the babies don't latch on properly. And I did suffer from cracks in the beginning breastfeeding Kian. So I'm going to start very early on applying my nipple cream. Another very important item for breastfeeding is my breast friend nursing pillow. This was a lifesaver when I was breastfeeding Kian, so I am definitely taking this to the hospital. The next thing that's going in my bag is my actual toiletry bag. You guys know what toiletries that you use at home. It's important to pack everything that you feel like you're going to need in the hospital. Inside here, I do have my toothbrush, toothpaste, face wash, toner, face moisturizer, bath wash, bath moisturizer, lip balm, hand cream, I am not leaving anything out. If I'm staying in that hospital for four days, I'm not going to be looking very ashy. So I do have everything that I'm going to need in this bag. Another thing that I'm going to be packing my hospital bag, but I'm not showing this video because I haven't quite put it together yet, is my makeup bag. So I'm going to be taking just very basic makeup. I'm not going to have my face beat like this because I won't have the time, but like your basic foundation, powder powder brush and lip gloss that is what i'm going to be taking other important things to throw in your hospital bag are things like your mobile phone of course how you're going to take a picture of your new baby you need your phone charger you might take an ipad or a laptop as well as the charger you can also take a favorite book to read if you don't want to watch anything i'm personally taking a book you can also pack a few of your favorite snacks because chances are they might not have in the hospital so i do have a few favorites that my mother-in-law has sent me from germany thank you mama and uh, one of them is my milk card chocolate and my harry boy so i'm going to be putting this in my bag i'm excited to pack this in my bag if of course i don't eat it before i arrive in the hospital that's it for packing my bag for me and the baby um, it's really exciting getting ready for this period knowing that I'm gonna be a mother of two Sounds pretty crazy, but we're very excited as you can see in the background We've already set up the snooze pod, which is where we had laid key and I think he stayed in here for about six months So we've set that up already. We have the car seat that's gonna obviously go in the car besides that there's a lot of deep cleaning going on in the house and a lot of nesting <laughs> But of course, you know, David is helping me a lot with all of these things and we're we're very, very excited and looking forward to it. If you're interested in checking out the product, make sure that you check in the link down below because we're going to list all of the products and links 
to the product as well in case you don't have it in your local store you can order it online i'm just wishing every woman who is in this process all the best if you're in the process of packing your bag don't panic you know what the first time when i was pregnant with kian i had my bag ready at about 35 weeks because mentally you know like you keep reading you have to have your hospital bag ready and then you think to yourself that literally labor starts and you have to rush out the door in reality it's not like that because even if you start contractions or your water breaks at home you will have the time to throw in last minute stuff so by all means do have your bag ready as early as you can but for the last minute things you will have the time to throw it in the bag i'm going to end this video by wishing every woman who's going through this phase all the best all the best with your delivery all the best with meeting your new baby whether it's your first second third fourth and in a few weeks we'll be very very excited to introduce you to kian sibling thank you so much for watching leave a comment below if you think there's anything that i need to pack in my hospital bag that i haven't packed or if you think there are things that are not necessary just to put it out there i know that in america they do provide most of the items that i've listed here but unfortunately in ireland literally to the hat your baby wears you need to bring it in so don't get too alarmed if you think that everything i'm packing is too much is really just based on my geographical location thank you so much for watching if you're not already subscribed to our channel make sure you subscribe so that you can follow us on the journey to being parents of two kids and sending you so much love from Dublin. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.